Hello Rangers and welcome to Ranger Ruby YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be going over 10 fun facts about Fort Sumter and Fort Moultrie National Historical Park. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. Okay, now starting out with fact number one, Fort Sumter and Fort Moultrie National Historical Park is one of two national historical parks located in the great state of South Carolina. Fact number two, two forts stand at the entrance of the Charlestown Harbor. Patriots inside a Palomino log fort later named Fort Moultrie defeated the Royal Navy in 1776. And as for the other fort, fact number three, as Charlestown blazed a path towards succession to preserve slavery, construction on a new fort, Fort Sumter, proceeded. The Confederacy fired on the U.S. garrison of Fort Sumter on April 12, 1861 one, opening the Civil War, which redefined American freedom. Fact number four, because Fort Sumter is located on an island, tour boats to Fort Sumter are provided by Fort Sumter Tours, the authorized concessioner of Fort Sumter National Monument. Fact number five, a Confederate eight inch mortar commanded by Captain George S. James fired the first shot of the American Civil War from Fort Johnson on James Island at Fort Sumter, Union Garrison at 4.30 a.m. on April 12, 1861. Fact number six, the National Historical Park doesn't just include these two forts. Today, it has become second nature for sailors in distress to call the Coast Guard. However, help at sea was historically not readily available. The United States Life Saving Service, or US LSS, was conceived out of a dire need for life-saving networks. Until 1878, the only source for those in trouble at sea were lighthouse keepers, volunteers, and private vessels that just happened to be nearby. Fact number seven, back to the other fort. After the revolution, Fort Moultrie was neglected, and by 1791, a little bit even remained. Then in 1793, war broke out between Great Britain and France. The next year, Congress, seeking to safeguard American shores, authorized the first system of a nationwide coastal fortification. Fact number eight, the first fort on Sullivan's Island, constructed of palomino logs and sand, was still incomplete when Commodore Sir Peter Parker of the Royal Navy and nine British men of war attacked it on June 28, 1776. After a nine hour battle, the ships were forced to retire. Charlestown was saved from British occupation and the fort was named in honor of its commander, Colonel William Moultrie. Fact number nine, Clarissa, also known as Clara Barton, was born in North Oxford, Massachusetts in 1821, the youngest of Stephen and Sarah Barton's five children. Clara would soon become a world-famous Civil War nurse, humanitarian, and founder of the American Red Cross. In 1863, Barton traveled to the Union-controlled Sea Islands of South Charleston, South Carolina. Barton, on July 14, 1863, moved from Hilton Head Island to Morris Island to tend to the growing number of sick and wounded soldiers, a list that greatly increased after the failed Union battery, Wagner, on July 18, 1863. Claire Barton's journey across the entire eastern coast of the United States can be found more of in the link in the description. And fact number 10, the Confederates garrisoned Fort Sumter for almost four years. Two years after the signal shot that started the Civil War, Fort Sumter became the focus of a long defense in which determined Confederate soldiers kept the US Army and Navy at bay for 587 days. In the summer of 1863, when federal forces gained control of Morris Island, the bombardment of Charlestown and Fort Sumter began in earnest. Union rifled artillery reduced Fort Sumter to a ruin, essentially, and the Confederate soldiers and enslaved labor workers to dig bomb proofs. The damage wrought by the Union artillery and the Confederate repairs to Fort Sumter transformed the former three-tiered brick masonry fort into essentially earthwork. The siege of Charleston continued until February 17th in 1865, still to date the longest siege in United States military history. Well, everybody, that's the end in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below with your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. Also, be sure to click that red subscribe button and the little bell next to it to always know when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching again, and I shall see you next video. Bye!